The unfair advantage, whether it's racing or in any other form actually, is when you latch onto an idea in design that gives you that edge through innovation or new materials or anything like that. It just gives you the edge over all your competitors. I can't stop my brain working, you know, I just can't. And I go to sleep thinking about it, I wake up thinking about it. It's just got to be better than what anybody has done before. The search for that unfair advantage is a recurring theme in motorsport. Looking for improved performance comes naturally to Gordon and a core group of ex-Formula One colleagues now working alongside him at Gordon Murray Automotive. That gives us an edge as a car business and a design company. Back in the day, Gordon's designs were hugely successful across two decades of Formula One. It means that we are very flexible and fast and really good at making decisions. Today, Gordon Murray Automotive's unrivaled motorsport expertise is channeled in a new direction. The T50 is GMA's remarkable new road car, already anticipated as the most driver-centric supercar ever built. So when we set out to do T50, we absolutely wanted to make the best engineered sports car and the best driving experience, full stop. That was it. So the T50 will surely be the ultimate road car, but Gordon and the team's next project is a separate track-focused machine, the T50S. Now, T50S is not a variant or a version of T50. T50S has been in what I call a parallel design, which started 18 months ago. And that had exactly the same drive feel ethos as the road car, but to make the very best track experience without any compromise at all. Before the T50S is revealed, there is some rich history behind the car's full name. It will officially be called the T50S Nicky Lauda. Fully supported by Nicky's family, the name is a tribute to the triple world champion who was Gordon's friend and teammate. In 78 and 79, Nicky Lauda is driving for the Brabham Formula One team and Gordon is technical director. from the beginning I could see you know why he was such a good driver and I got on with him extremely well. From an engineering point of view his feedback was very very good and then we became good friends as well. Well championships is what you're racing for basically. It means every year you have to motivate yourself new, start from scratch and attack like crazy. To try always to be the best, this is the hard work. Nicky and Gordon's best-known collaboration involves the now infamous BT46 fan car. Infamous because it's a good example of the unfair advantage in Formula One. Gordon's design for the fan car exploits a loophole in the rulebook, giving it a massive aerodynamic advantage over its competitors. So the, the Brabham fan car was a way of, around the regulations, you know, sealed skirts all the way around the car, great big fan on the back of the car, it was a vacuum cleaner, it just literally sucked the car to the ground, it was that simple. 
the car is introduced at the Swedish Grand Prix in 1978. It goes round certain corners 30 miles an hour faster than a conventional car. So the driver had to believe in that and arrive at the corner 30 miles an hour too fast and turn the steering wheel and just believe it was going to go around, you know. And those two, those two things took a lot of getting used to. That advantage is too much for the opposition and Nicky wins the race convincingly. So the, the Brabham fan car was pretty much a blunt instrument. On the T50, um, the fan does a completely different job. It's much more sophisticated. It controls the airflow under the diffuser, which is the bit that gives you the downforce on a ground effect car. Excitement is building at GMA's workshops. Work on the T50 prototypes is progressing rapidly, and the time has come to reveal the T50S Nicky Lauda. When I first saw the full-size car arrive, I was pleasantly surprised that it still looks a pretty car, but it is much more aggressive, of course, because of all the aero functions. And those aero functions mean one thing, downforce. The T50S weighs just 850 kilos, but how much downforce, also measured in kilograms, was the team aiming for? We had a target of 1,000 kilos, we've bettered that. We're now at 1,500 kilos, one and a half tonnes of downforce, which is pretty aggressive, actually, but it still should be accessible for a good Amish driver. The T50S Nicky Lauda is bristling with sophisticated aero devices. There's a huge LMP1 style splitter on the front, there are dive planes and barge boards, an aerofoil central section. There's also a Delta Plan wing on the back, which is a nod to Gordon's iconic Brabham BT52. And below the Delta wing, a reminder of Nicky's fan car. So the fan on T50S is optimised for the track. The diffuser is even more aggressive than the road car and it just is on all the time and designed to give maximum downforce. So when you turn the ignition on and you get past 50 miles an hour, the fan goes to maximum speed and stays there. Innovations go on and on. The T50S's engine is a development of the road car's Cosworth 312, but lighter and even more powerful. And there's a state-of-the-art paddle shift gearbox using Xtrax IGS, or instantaneous gear change system. Inside, the slim, uncluttered design is influenced by GMA's racing experience. And as you might expect, it retains Gordon's driver-focused central seat position with an optional passenger seat. Each car has a chassis number and is individually named. So for example, um, number one chassis, it'll be the 1974 Kyle Army car and that'll be on black. There'll be a little book with a history of that. So wherever that car goes in future, it'll be the, the Kyle Army car. And I think that's just a, a nice step towards making the car have a prehistory, if you like. Just 25 Nicky Lauders will be built, by hand, at Gordon Murray Automotive. Each car is bespoke and will be fully supported by GMA's team. 
really important to us that the car's accessible and easy to use. And that's part of the enjoyment, really, is the fact you can just turn up at a circuit, fire the car up, warm the oil up, and off you go. Gordon Murray's automotive designs are celebrated around the world, but the T50S Nicky Lauda might just be his masterpiece. Quite simply, it aims to deliver an on-track experience like no other car in history. I don't think we're ever going to get beaten for a track car experience. T50S is going to deliver something that I don't think anybody will get close to. If you add up the central driving position, a naturally aspirated 12,000 rear V12 and 850 kilos, that's going to give you a, a feeling on the circuit like no other car. 